What's going on YouTube? It's your boy John B. Come back to you guys with a brand new haircut tutorial. Here I'm bringing you guys a comb over with a mid bald fade and it's kind of dropped in the back because this is how my client wants it. But first off, how are you guys doing? Thank you guys for checking out my last video. If you guys haven't yet, it's been doing really good and I know I didn't talk a lot in it. It's just because I just wanted to give you guys a brand new video because I haven't been here. But I'm back at it again, back on the grind, giving you guys this haircut story that a lot of people have been asking me to do. So here I'm starting off by trimming the hair off, maybe an inch or two off, or maybe an inch, because this is my boy Norman, he he comes maybe every two weeks, shout out to Norman, thank you for letting me use you for a video. But here I'm just, like I said, cutting a good amount off and just making sure everything is even. But the thing with comb overs are, the, the hair that's closer to the part has to be longer so it can reach the other side of the head, if that makes sense. It's hard to really explain, but if, that, if you get, if you can, if you can catch my drift, then you know what I mean. So, as you can see here, I'm double checking, triple checking my work, saying make sure every hair is aligned. And I like to part the hair if they're getting a hard line. I like to give the hard part in the beginning and I use these clips and make sure the hair is wet when you do this when you section the hair out because it's much more easier to do so I like to section the hair out find the natural part and then grab my and the slimline pros and make my indention right there as you can see so I don't razor it yet I wait till the end to razor it but I make my rough draft of the part as you can see so flip flip the slimline around to really make a good indention on both sides of, sides of the part. Here I'm making my first guideline with my wall magic clip. This is what I usually do when it comes down to fading faster on the, on the faster end because like I said this isn't like a private haircut that I'm giving him this is in the middle of a work day so I have to manage cutting his hair setting up the camera all in the span of one haircut appointment which is only 45 minutes for me and I try to like to do it in 40 so I'm really like going fast so here I go with the number two to make my first base and like I said this is my Oster fast speed or Oster speed line whatever you want to call it these are my bread and butter in my opinion I like fading with these I can get the job done quick and clean so I went with the number two and I'm going clipper over comb to take off all of that extra excess bulk because you're not gonna, there's no use into using a high clip when you could just use your clipper over comb. And if you guys are wondering what kind of comb that is, it's a flat top carbon fiber comb. You can get it on Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks. I know people are like, oh, that's a lot for a comb, but it's the best comb. Carbon fiber combs are the best combs. I've had this comb for two to three years, and it's not even close to breaking. It's a, it's a really good comb. And as you can see, he has dips in his head, so it's really good to use clipper over comb because sometimes you, you dig with those guards. So here I'm going with a number one close. And like I said, this is my way of fading. So I go with the one close, open it to the one open. And once I create that one open guy line, I slowly close it and blend downwards. Keep it quick. You see what I mean? I'm going open and it's slowly closing the clipper. Watching out for those dips, using the corners. I, pre I know some of you guys that watch my videos every single, uh, every single one of my videos, I, I really emphasize on keeping, being light-handed. And as you can see here, I'm really light-handed. And I take pride in that, and you should too. You don't wanna be that barber, like, is known to have heavy hands, or it hurts when you get a haircut. So just practice that and I promise you it'll help you guys out. So here I'm going with, I'm doing it by sections. So I'm, I start with the clipper closed and make my way up, fade upwards with no guard on. And then I snap on the half guard and blend out that middle piece. And it's not gonna be perfect. So you have to, after this step, you have to snap on your one if you have to, if it's not blended correctly. Snap on that one guard and play with your lever. Don't be afraid to cut too much hair and 
just find that rhythm. As you can see here, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm finding that rhythm, looking at the dips, and see, I'm not really even using the full guard. I'm using a lot of the corners. So here, start clipper close, clipper open, midway. You can see my lever, it starts closed, and the higher I go, the, the more open my clipper is. So after this, I'm gonna grab the half guard and clean up that little line that you can see right there. Right there. So, like, in real life, I did this in like five minutes or less. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to take so much time fading someone's hair. I know there's people that cut faster than me. Well, I know there's people that cut longer than I, take longer than I do, but it's all in making every stroke count and just finding your rhythm what style of fade that you can do and that's it you know what I mean not not every barber is the same that's why I never try to like look at other people's work and criticize it because that's just their style of cutting and I'm not saying I'm the best because I know I'm not I just this is just my way of cutting this is my barber career you know what I mean and I'm just trying to give you guys tips on how much I know I've been cutting hair since 2012 and I know there's people that have been cutting longer but I feel like I'm in a position where I can help people out. So here I'm going downwards with my honest tail liners and I don't really recommend doing that step too much but I know my clippers enough to a point where it won't affect the client. It won't hurt the client. So that's another thing you guys should work on is making sure that the client I mean not client not any client, but your clippers are adjusted to your pressure of hand. You can't be heavy handed and have really close clippers. You're gonna, that's when you're gonna cut someone. You can have sharp, zero gap clippers and be light handed and it'll work like a charm. So I'm gonna just let you guys listen to some music for now while I finish up this other side. I'm doing the same exact steps, but really pay attention to how I'm using the corners and how fast I'm cutting this loose hair. Yeah, it's sped up, but it's only sped up by like two times or something like that it's not sped up by a lot so just practice speed and strokes and making every stroke count i'll get back to you guys
now I'm just wetting the hair and I'm using my clipper over comb technique because when you wet the hair, that's how the hair will be when it's styled. And I'm just catching all those straight, hair, straight hairs that I missed. Keep the comb either at a 90 or more of an outward angle depending on if you're afraid to cut too much or if it's your first time cutting someone's hair, you don't want to cut a lot off. And then after I do that, I usually blow dry the short side of the comb over because it's just easier to blow dry now than later. And these are my slim lines that I'm using to line up with. And I know the lineup isn't like the crispiest lineup, but that's another thing where you have to learn that not everybody's lineup is crispy. Not everybody has a perfect box. And a lot of people use fibers and stuff, and I have nothing against fibers, but just for me, I don't like using it. I only use it if someone requests for it. I do have it on deck just in case, but in him particular, he doesn't like it, and it, that's okay. It's okay. Some people like it, some people don't. But I'm not gonna front and put the fibers in and not tell you guys. You know what I mean? If I put fiber, I'm gonna say it. But here, I he does have kind of tough skin, so. I do put water in there just to soften the skin, get, get it ready for the straight razor. And for you beginners out there that have a hard time straight raising parts, just know that it's okay to struggle in the beginning because that's how I was. That's how I am sometimes still. I'm still not that good at razoring parts, but just try your best to make a good invention with your liners first and then come back with the razor and pull the skin. That's the number one tip on every straight razor. Pull the skin away from the direction you're razoring and don't ever go side to side. Just up and down strokes. As you can see right here, I like to use my middle finger, thumb, pointer finger, whatever whatever feels comfortable. Don't, don't apply to every single rule where they tell you use your thumb only. You can't use your thumb only. I use, I use as you can see here, I barely even use my thumb. So, that's pretty much the end of the haircut. I'm just gonna blow dry and I slap on some eco gel on there. If you guys are wondering, it's this big bo green bottle of gel and it's really cheap. Well, I, I don't use it because it's cheap. I just use it because that's what I've been using for like the past few years. And from my haircut videos, you can see that I'm not really that pompadour kind of barber or dry look, surfer look, European look. I really like the wet look. That's just me. I've always liked it for many years of my barber career and that's just my style. So that's pretty much the end of the haircut. Stay tuned for the end. You can see the finished product. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for rocking with me. Like since my last video has been doing really good and just having that break off of YouTube, like just focusing on myself. I just want to say I appreciate that, that you guys are still here. Like supporting me I really do appreciate it and we actually make two years of my shop today or not my shop but I've been working for the shop I've been there since we opened so October 1st we make two years shout out to the parlor barber shop you know what drop a like on this video if you guys want me to vlog our two-year celebration we're only gonna do something small at the shop but thank you guys and yeah thank you guys for tuning in I'll be back to, I'll be back with more videos so don't forget to like comment subscribe it's your boy john b and i'm out